Good morning, folks. Welcome, observers. Today we've got some eye candy from James Webb, an epic Nova remnant. We'll see some lightning records and put those in context. We'll go over what we're watching on the sun as we begin with the last 24 hours on our star. We're still enjoying the calm between scheduled Riger cycle upticks. Next one is still a few weeks away. We have the small coronal hole facing Earth, but another one is coming. We've had no significant solar flares or filament eruptions, but we do have some sunspots to monitor. Specifically, the one active region near center disk that is growing very rapidly. In about 24 hours, this one will have turned far enough that it'll be difficult to blast a CME directly our way, but we're watching this one very closely today. We are also on coronal hole watch. Forget that little one facing Earth, but over to the south on the left at the limb. That dark gap in coronal plasma is not only the next coronal hole, but it likely extends pretty well north. I would expect another big coronal hole coming into view this weekend. Eye candy up next. This is near cam shot from James Webb of NGC 6072. It's a gorgeous Nova remnant, but it is the miri shot of the same nebula that really has astronomers gawking. The clean cut lines and gaps and striations and concentric shells. The physics of how these shapes come to be is pretty difficult to reconcile. In the vast empty ocean of nothing we call space, how do you create like you've got an exacto knife? Awesome. Folks, you probably heard about this, the record long lightning bolt. I wonder how many of you remember a few years ago here on YouTube and in our books when we said to watch for continued confirmations of record breaking lightning. There are still a few others under review that may break this record again, but we are also getting word it has been confirmed that a different bolt broke the longest duration event, 17 seconds. Imagine seeing a mega bolt that lasts for 17 seconds. That kind of thing would be terrifying. Folks, the primary reason the magnetic pole shift is so scary for the atmosphere is the extra electric charge ionization, which leads to many phenomena, including record lightning. We said to watch for it, and it's here. And it's because of the ongoing magnetic pole shift and penetrating plasma on the rise. Our documentary on this topic comes out this fall, and it's sponsored by goldobservers.com. For the clown world right now, for the descent and the breakdown of systems, and then when the ancient ways take over once again, there's a lot to understand about what's happening to our world and even more that can be done to prepare. Once you have your basics nailed down, prepping needs to specialize. Gold is a perfect electromagnetic reflector and silver releases antimicrobial ions when it touches blood. These metals are very useful at every stage of the catastrophe and into the next stage of Earth. Goldobservers.com, our documentary sponsor, can help. I will be out at Observer Ranch today and tomorrow, hoping to shake some of your hands. Next weekend is the Situational Awareness Prepping Class. We're going to go over everything you need for the disaster and doing so for every stage of the disaster. What you need and when, when to do this, when to do that. It got higher ratings than my pole shift conference last month, by the way. Check out all of the events and book your stay at ObserverRanch.com. We'd love to see you. We greatly appreciate your support. We'll do this all again tomorrow, right here. But right now, it's 5.45 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone. <laughs>